For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hello and welcome to News Click and People's Dispatch. Today we have with us Robertus Robert, who's a lecturer in sociology at the State University of Jakarta in Indonesia. Robertus' work is on human rights, political thought, looks very carefully at events in Indonesia, which has in recent months been inflamed by popular protest against the president, um, Jojo Widodo. Robertus, welcome to News Click and People's Dispatch. Well, uh, uh, thank you, uh, Vijay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you there, Vijay. Nice to have you. Um, yeah. Last year, in September, there was a brief wave of anti-corruption protests, mm -hmm. reformasi, decorupsi, um, yes. That sort of petered out. And then this year, Jojo Vidodo put forward a deregulation law in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, Robertus, the protests have been quite significant against this law. Could you walk us through a little bit this year of protests against the government of Jojo Vidodo? I think the most important thing uh, coming from the protest is that... Uh, the protests uh, reflecting the the reemergence of the social movement, the civil society and social movement in Indonesia. Uh, this uh, political, so, uh, this social movement is very uh, important. Why? It is because uh, uh, you know after uh, after the Indonesian presidential elections, Indonesian society and politics. Uh, uh, is divided into into two into polarizations whether you are uh, in uh, uh, Joko Widodo camp or you are a part of the his uh, competitor uh, during uh, after the general elections and uh, i think almost 5 to 6 year indonesian society was uh, divided uh, by these two camp yeah and uh, it seems that uh, there is no uh, it seems that there is no uh, chance for the third uh, new uh, political, uh, political, uh, political agent, political actor coming from Indonesian politics. So, the right, the the reemergence, the emergence of the uh, student protest and civil society protest in 2019 is uh, it, it, it is a good sign that uh, uh, it's go beyond this two uh, the old polarization of Indonesian politics after 2000. 14 and 2019's uh, presidential election. So uh, this is the significance of the uh, social movement in 2019 in Indonesia, I think. This, this is the, the, the relevance of that, uh, of that protest. Uh, um, and this, the, the second character of the relevance of that protest is the, uh, the, the, the movement is breaking breakthrough the all the the old political partition in indonesia uh, uh, you know that uh, in the old traditions there is a stigma uh, there is a partition between uh, for example uh, so civil society student and labor movement yeah uh, 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 this is uh, the, the 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 old political idea in indonesia is always trying to separate uh, student civil society and labor movement in 2000 2019 and 2020 this kind of part, political partition is disappeared because uh, the student the civil society and the labor movement is uh, they can come together uh, as a, uh, as a unity uh, as, a, as a as a one as a political element in society so I think this is two, uh, the, most the, two, the, the two most significant uh, uh, science in Indonesian uh, social movement today, I think. So just to pick up on that, I mean, yes, I understand that it's often the case that the student movement, uh, you know, idealistic young students, and then the labor movement, patient, long-term development of confidence in the working class, uh, there is often an attempt to keep these two apart. Uh, it's true. I, I was seeing uh, lots of images even of workers alongside students in the current protest. Was this because of the issues at stake, the deregulation law that brought these elements together? Or ha is there a political process that has brought them together? In other words, is it just because of what 
the president is trying to push that they are both on the street together or is there an emergence of a new kind of historical block in indonesia nah that's very uh, this very good uh, questions by you uh, uh, vijay that's uh, uh, i think so, uh, we have in indonesia is both uh, yeah the first is uh, this is uh, come as a response uh, to the uh, to the to the uh, to the, the uh, to the political regimes they're trying to uh, withdraw all the uh, political reformation that indonesia had since 1998 but the second is the the, the possibility to uh, to break through all the political all political partition is also is an outcome of the uh, of the old uh, old civil society tradition in indonesia that still that still uh, maintained by some uh, political organization uh, civil society organizations in indonesia for example the role of the old uh, old and uh, resilient uh, civil society or organization just like uh, indonesian legal aid foundation uh, uh, contrast yeah this is contrast is they, uh, to uh, indonesian corruption watch and lokataru Uh, this kind of this organization they have a long standing position in indonesian civil society so uh, it seems that they they have a, a, a resiliency by uh, creating the new uh, new generations of uh, a political cadre something like that so and this kind of actor this kind of organization they can they go uh, they go to, uh, to to To, to, to the several several religion in Indonesia trying to, uh, to build a uh, 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 grassroots and uh, uh, link up with the student and the other organization in the local so, so this is uh, i think this uh, and this this also a factor uh, uh, for the 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 reemergence of the social movement in Indonesia in 2019 and 2020 i think i mean let's go back to the labor question because you know Indonesia people know has become a crucial part of the global supply chain um, mm. you know large number of small scale manufacturing has been taking place in indonesia um, you know at the lower end of the value chain and goods then of course go and get exported elsewhere including uh, shoe companies producing you know nike and so on nike, yeah, um, yeah. you know uh, when we when you say for instance that labor is back on the streets the working class is protesting and so on what sectors of labor are back on the street are we seeing workers from these low end and manufacturing units on the street or is this more the old organized labor what kind of fact fractions of labor are participating uh, in this protest wave mostly is the manufacture labor yeah. uh, indonesia indonesia is facing also a d Uh, the manufacturations but uh, this is uh, this is what is uh, they are what is left in indonesian's uh, uh, labor structure at, at 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 this at this time i think yeah so uh, they uh, 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 but uh, in terms of the historical uh, political history uh, 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 labor movement is one of the most uh, successful uh, political organization that uh, that emerged after reformation you know so uh, 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 it tackles uh, the political stigma coming from the 1965 yeah uh, associating labor with the uh, communism uh, that uh, and uh, you know that in indonesia if you uh, stigmatize by the uh, by uh, this uh, this political labeling and uh, then uh, your uh, political your uh, you don't have any political future if you if you stigmatize by this this labeling and it is usually uh, for more than 30 years indonesian labor movement stigmatized by this kind of political labeling and after the reformations the, the uh, labor can uh, go beyond this political stigmatized and they can create the new political organizations that uh, can go uh, deliver the political demand freely so uh, by uh, from this process i think uh, 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 labor movement in indonesia is one of the the most uh, consolidated uh, 
uh, social organizations in in terms of the uh, political uh, democratic political force in Indonesia I think and uh, in 2009 uh, and by because of that new law now they are facing the new uh, challenge i think because what because the uh, yeah this is the this is the, the uh, they are facing really the ultra uh, the neoliberal political uh, uh, political agenda uh, uh, coming from uh, this new law yeah the <clears throat> the most crucial part of the law is uh, in the new law the let's say in simple way they will f they, the the idea of the new laws in terms of uh, labor uh, in relation with the labor is that uh, the the uh, the flexibility yeah the idea of flexibility in the in the economic uh, economic process they, that make the the state and the company uh, do the easy firing and easy hiring so uh, so the the response from uh, labor is is so massive with a big magnitudes uh, expressing that uh, they they know exactly uh, what they are facing uh, in in the new law you know it's so interesting robertus to hear you talk about the labor movement in indonesia because the general press reports about this wave of protests from 2019 to now mm -hmm. neglects completely the labor question that there are working class organizations um you know they'll mention deregulation and even what's known as labor market reform you know which means an attack yeah, yeah. on labor but it's so interesting to hear you talk about the labor movement as a major participate participant i know that you have written about the stagnation of democracy um it's a very interesting concept robert is the stagnation of democracy mm -hmm. and the you know regression of democracy in indonesia even uh, this means the democratic institutions and so on could you briefly tell us a little bit about this stagnation and this regression of democracy uh, in your country yeah uh well the some experts uh, they usually use the you know the uh, liberal democracy indicator uh, just like the the decreasing of the free speech in indonesia which is true and the decreasing of the internet freedom in indonesia they are uh, they are true but i think it is only a symptom you know the the problem is the in indonesia today is that the there is a there is there a, a return of the it is two two kind of challenge in that sense uh, uh, the first is the returning of the pro, uh, the new developmentalism the new the new neoliberal developmentalism in indonesia uh, uh, it expressed in terms uh, in terms of the uh, the political behavior of the elite it, it, it coming uh, from the the idea of the economic pragmatism uh, uh, coming from uh, joko joko uh, from the president yeah uh, he uh, in his presidency he has put uh, too much stress on the infrastructure and economic development uh, and because of that he trying to suppress the political freedoms so this kind of idea is just like the idea from the developmentalism in during in 191970s uh, coming from the the the, the americans a scholar uh, i forget who who who, uh, uh, who have an idea that to make an economic uh, uh, economic uh, growth you have to to make a political stability so this kind of this kind old uh, old traditional and conservative idea is coming back to indonesia and this is the main factor of why indonesian uh, democracy is decreasing yeah that's not St samuel huntington is it political yeah, order it's, samuel it's huntington political stability yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 political stability whatever political order in a something 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 where yeah, he said order in uh, uh, yeah uh, he argued that dictatorships are good for the third world because you will yeah. see development with a dictatorship exactly. and yeah. so they back the coup d'etat in 1965 uh, yeah, yeah. one of the great crimes of american history yeah um, yeah Robertus it's been a great pleasure to talk with you to learn about what's happening in Indonesia we're going to keep an eye on developments there because this is not as you know 
as you well know, Robert, this, this is not over. Thanks for joining yeah. us at News Click and People's Dispatch. Yeah,